Welcome back to the channel. This is ASOS E402Y. Today I'm going to show you how to enable USB boot in Legacy and EVFI both. So first of all, depending on choice, you should have the bootable USB thumb drive. If you would like to do in EVFI, then you should have in GPT bootable Windows 10 USB. Or if you want to do just a legacy one, then you should have master boot record bootable USB thumb drive. So first of all, you need to press the power button to turn it off. And then we're going to press back again to turn it back on. You have to take us to BIOS screen straight away. Let's talk some basics about the legacy boot. Legacy boot means boot type legacy, not UEFI. Secure boot, we have to disable it. And then bootable USB partition has to be in MBR. Okay, once we do that, then it should be fine. Now we need to find out what is the UEFI and legacy settings and what is the secure boot option is available and how to create the bootable USB partition in MBR to make bootable Windows USB disk. Now let's do the legacy one first. So first of all, once you get into the BIOS screen, if you press the right arrow, it's going to take you to the right, which is as advanced option. As you can see, there is a call uh, legacy USB support need to be enabled if you would like to choose it in legacy. And then if you go to security, you're going to find secure boot menu which is at the bottom all right so from here you must need to make it disable if you like a uh, legacy one as you can see this is enabled so we're gonna hit enter and if you hit enter again it's gonna select disable and this is almost ready for legacy boot okay so now if you have the correct bootable USB thumb drive for legacy, it should be absolutely fine. Okay, that's the legacy one gone. Now if you press F10, that would save the settings that we changes and system would restart and it will start up from the USB and the Windows installation process would be start in legacy environment. Now let's talk about the UEFI. Today in this video, we'll complete with UEFI settings as this one much better than MBR master boot record and also more secure. Let's talk about UEFI boot settings means. That means we have to select the boot type UEFI only, secure boots option has to be enabled and once we make it enabled then launch CSM would be disabled by itself and our bootable USB Windows 10 thumb drive has to be in GPT partition. Once we locate what is the secure boot is and change the settings and after that if you press F10 it would save the settings and everything should be fine. So let's do it in reality. Now let's say if you would like to choose for EVFI then secure boot has to be enabled, otherwise that would not work. Now let's go to boot menu. From there, as you can see, the launch CSM it became disabled once we made the secure boot enable. Okay, those are the opposite of each other. And legacy USB support, either we can leave it auto would be fine, because sometimes when I leave it disabled, it gives little bit of problem. So let's keep it in auto mode and pretty much that's all all the settings now the boot option one and two you can customize as you can see my usb thumb drive in uefi send this one and now if you press f10 it would save the settings and it would restart the computer and it the actual windows installation should be uh, begin from here now it takes little bit of time as you can see this computer i mean this laptop has only four gig of ram and very slow and it does have only uh, 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, so expect 
some delays okay and once it start then from here is super simple I'm gonna fast forward the video just to make it simple and bring into the conclusion you know and all the settings are very simple and basics it's all about uh, the region selection date and time and give permission and accept terms and condition of the Windows license and everything you know which is always same and unique so let's start now I'm going to choose the language and time and currency settings and we'll fast forward the video hope you'd enjoy it 